see everybody in here. I'm not feeling so good today, so this is going to be pretty short. Uh, I'm just going to go check and see what's going on with the chickens. Looks like their yard is still intact. <laughs> yeah, this, this part was breaking. Got that put there. And I'm just keeping this pulled over with some zip ties, and it looks like it's staying up. Uh, chickens are all in the yard. Um, you know what? I need to go see if they laid me any eggs. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. I got two brown eggs over there. Looks like there's been some kicking around of the bedding in there. Thank you, ladies. I think the one on the right is Miss Pris, and I think this is Patsy. Oh, great. Yeah, she decided to lay her egg. Mama, right over there, so I gotta reach all the way in and grab it. Thank you, Mama. Look how big that is. Oh my gosh. Let's see the comparison. Ha <laughs> ha, it's huge. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, just one. I'll grab that. I think a couple more will lay today. That's yeah, pretty nice sized. Now for the Easter Eggers. Yep, got one there, one there. Oh, I gotta put that roosting bar back up. Doesn't look like we got eggs anywhere else. Nope. Thank you, ladies. Just check my mailbox. I've been expecting something from my mom. She sent me an album um, of her and dad's cruise um, with a bunch of precious pictures in it. And um, it's been two or three weeks now. Still haven't got it. She sent one to my sister in California and my son in Ohio on the same day. They both received theirs within a couple days, but there's something wrong, something going wrong with the post office in Henderson, Tennessee. Uh, not Henderson County, but the city of Henderson, Tennessee. Um, it's the place where I have my post office box, and you guys remember, I received that one box where they had clearly gone through it. Somebody took an Amazon gift certificate out of it, and this happened at the post office at Henderson. Um, because it was sent from one place and went straight to there. They it, it basically just tossed it and shoved things back in. Things were broken. Um, so, you know, and, and then completely encapsulated the package in tape and that is not the way that it was sent out. So, this isn't the first time um, I haven't got things that have been sent to me um, because the Henderson Post Office is just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's incompetence. I don't know if it's um, that they just don't care. I don't know if they're just stealing things. Um, sometimes they don't even come down the street. And a postman or postwoman should come down your street every single day that the post office is running to check to see if there is anything in people's mailboxes that needs to go out. Well, some days you never see them. You just never see them at all. So, I don't know what's going on with Henderson, Tennessee, but I always tell people, if you need to send me something, don't send it via U.S. mail. And that's an embarrassment, but I ask them to send it via UPS, because I always get my stuff via UPS. But, um, I don't know, just, y'all, just stop using the U.S. mail. It is terrible. Uh, it may be okay in your area. It may just be Henderson, Tennessee. Um, I don't know. We'll just... And it's kind of like, what do you do? I tried to call and complain, and I wanted to speak to the postmaster. Put me on hold for 25 minutes, and nobody ever came to talk to me. So, I don't know. Um, I personally will not be using the, the post office, but I can't make the whole world stop using the U.S. post office because there's some places that, you know, that's the only option they have. So, anyhow, I'm not feeling so good. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> I wish. Yep, something got in there. Probably my puppies. Luckily, these two hens are still here. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> they just tore right through this. I, I know it's my puppies because they came around the corner. So I'm going to have to fix this and try and wrangle this girl back. What I usually have to do is kind of get her to go up in the van, and then I can kind of corner her and get her. So wish me luck. Got her. <laughs> yeah, and Romeo got her once while she was out too. But you're a good chicken. It's not your fault. There you go, sweet girl. Back home. You know what I think I might do? 
until I can get this yard the way it needs to be. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this right away. I'm thinking, though, that once Patsy, uh, not Patsy, Mama gets all of her feathers back, I'm just going to put her in with Romeo's crew and um, just shut this, this yard down for right now. Um, or just leave it open and let them come in and out as they please. But I think that that might be a solution here in the near future because this, I'm just tired of struggling with it. I'm just tired. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this one short today. I'm going to lay down and take a nap. I got all my puppies in the tiny house with me. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny. Um, it's mild. It's not freezing cold. But I just feel really, really tired. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a nap. I need to set my alarm for 4.30 because that's when the chickens start, you know, going going up into their coops. So, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.